It looks fake. Do you think the Gimlin footage is is real? Patterson Gimlin yeah. footage, one hundred percent fake. Fake? Yeah, it looks yeah. fake. Yeah, everything that looks fake is fake. Is it a, a person in a suit? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It's Why? A guy, it's a guy walking. It's in a guy in a suit. suit. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Although I did get really high once, and I was convinced <laughs> that it was really Bigfoot, and I was being an asshole all this time. I was like, oh my god, what if that really is Bigfoot? <laughs> I just been a dick. Because somebody these <laughs> hardcore Bigfoot believers, that's their footage. The Patterson. But there's so many problems with that. First of all, Roger Patterson l- literally got arrested for writing a bad check to pay for the camera that he used to film that. They went there specifically to film it. Um, the guy, uh, Bob Hieronymus, who says he was Bigfoot, when you see him walk, he's this big old gangly cowboy looking dude. When you see him walk, he walks exactly like that Bigfoot you thing. You think it did. was him? 100%. Huh. Yeah. They even have the re- a receipt from a fucking gorilla suit that they bought. <laughs> have you ever seen him walking side by side? Find a video of Bob Hieronymus walking side by side with the original Patterson footage. So they show the Bigfoot walking and yeah. then Bob walking, and you're like, oh. <laughs> like, I mean, because he's he, he looked like a Bigfoot. The guy was a fucking, <laughs> you know, there's dudes, the big old cowboy looking dudes, big old fucking. <laughs> Farm country strong dudes. Yeah, they look like apish. They're just big old fuckers and this guy was one of those guys and you see him walking And you see him walking and it's he walks right, you know, they they, they superimpose it They put side by side rather and when they do it you, you go. Oh, yeah, definitely what a disappointment Do you want to believe that it's real? No, I don't want to believe did you ever believe it was real when I was eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And when you're nine, you're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, but my God, there's people to this day, those hardcore, hardcore Bigfoot people are cult members. They really are. They, 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 they decide to shut off a part of their brain that critically looks at information. Aren't there any eyewitnesses who strike you as, as credible? I was talking to um, uh, Les Stroud about yeah. this. Do you know Les? I was talking mm-hmm. to Les once about this, I think. Yeah, Les... He's a very credible guy in terms of like survival tactics. Mm-hmm. He knows a lot about that. But his, the, the, he didn't see one with his own eyes. He heard something and it, he heard noises that sounded chimpanzee like. Mm-hmm. Bears make those noises mm-hmm. all the time. I've seen bears make those. I've watched bears make those noises. They make them particularly when they're fighting with each other. They sound very much like gorillas. They're, <laughs> they do that. All the time. So if you were alone in the woods and you heard that and you heard smashing and thumping around, you're like, oh, my God, there's a gorilla out there. Mm. Oh, my God, there's some kind of a primate out there. There have been people that have spotted things that are very eerily similar to what you would think is a large bipedal ape. The problem is a lot of these places are heavily wooded and populated by bears. And bears walk on two legs all the time. So here, there's Bob. And there's the Bigfoot, <laughs> right? I mean, case closed, right? I never saw that. I mean, look at that dude. Look, isn't he like what I said? Big yeah. old country dude? Yeah. I mean, we see that guy walking, and you imagine him with a, a fucking gorilla suit on. It doesn't even look good. It looks like shit. <laughs> and it's just too convenient. All of it's too convenient that the fact that the guy went looking for it and found it and filmed it and... You know, the whole thing's corny. It's corny. Data matters. Data does matter, and there's no real data in terms of um, genetics. You know, there's been a lot of, like, goofy talk that they found, like, some kind of human DNA and samples of hair. The problem with that is all that, all that DNA's been contaminated. I actually talked to an actual biologist about this, hmm. and uh, we, we did it, an episode of... Uh, Joe Rogan questions everything for the Sci-Fi Channel on Bigfoot. We hung around with Bigfoot hunters. Duncan and I went out with them and looking for Bigfoot and camping with them and everything. And I, I just, it's people that are just looking for something. I think at one point in time it was real. I think almost certainly at one point in time human beings did interact with Gigantopithecus. It was a real animal. You know about that? Mm-hmm. And Gigantopithecus matches exactly like what people talk about when they talk about Sasquatch. It looks exactly like that. An enormous bipedal hominid that was, you know, maybe more than eight feet tall 
And they found out about this thing by accident when a guy was uh, looking in an apothecary shop in China and he found gigantic teeth that were clearly primate teeth. He's like, where'd you find these? And they go there and they go to the site and they, they dig out jaw bones that indicate it was bipedal. And so now they know it's a real thing that existed. And they, I think they date that to, when do they date? I think they date that to 100,000 years ago. When did they date Gigantopithecus to? Uh, Wikipedia says uh, roughly 2 million to 350,000 years. 350,000. I thought it was closer. I thought it was closer to, to us. Um, that's just what Wikipedia says. I have to see if there's other disputes or something. Yeah, see if it, because I'd read that these date, that the carbon date that they did on these teeth, I think they said that that was somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 and something thousand years ago. Hmm. So that would put it, you know, with semi modern looking human beings. Mm -hmm. So the question Very is. Very modern. Right. And then the question is, like, how long did it survive? Like, just because you find something, you find, like, say if you find one that's 200,000 years old, doesn't mean it didn't exist 100,000 years ago or even 50,000 years ago. Mm. Like, when was the last one? When did they die off? And when did humans encounter them? And if you look at their range, like, if they found them in Asia and then you look at the Bering landmass and you, f you look at where, it, where does it drop off? Well, it drops off in the Pacific Northwest. Like that's like literally like goes down Alaska, makes its way down the coast, dense forest, which is where a, a thing like that. So proteins extracted from a roughly 1.9 million year old tooth of the aptly named Gigantopithecus is a close relative to modern orangutans. So protein comparisons amongst living fossil apes suggest that Gigantopithecus and orangutan forerunners diverged from a common ancestor between 10 and 12 million years ago. Jeez. But when did it die off? It says the same thing. It says they hadn't found anything from the years. late Pleistocene era. They only have this from the early part of it. Okay, so it said the fossils date from around 2 million to almost 300,000 years ago. The sizes of individual teeth and jaws indicate that it weighed between 200 and 300 kilograms. That's a big fucker. <clears throat> Interesting. So that was that was Bigfoot. The, mm. the, so it, it, if humans did make it to the point where we had language and the, the ability to communicate ideas, they probably would communicate about all these creatures that they encountered, yeah. and that would be one of them. Yeah. But the actual like Patterson footage Bigfoot, that's horseshit. <laughs> 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 There's just too many hunters out there, too many hikers. Who would have seen something? Yeah, they don't see anything. Yeah. And you personally never heard or experienced anything? No. Like no. a Bigfoot thing? Yeah. You don't think I would say that first? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the first Maybe thing I would say. Maybe you're holding out, Joe. No, 